Hey guys, it's Nate. Welcome back to the channel. So today, this video is going to be dedicated to wine. So if you like Supercharger wine or Hellcat wine, you want to watch this video. Alright, so I'm proud to say that this wine is made right here in the USA. And this is what is making the wine. I'll show you guys. So I had the stock air box. I swapped it out. I mentioned that a couple of times. So it's this. This beautiful leg maker intake. Carbon fiber tube. This is a splash to keep the water that comes out of the extractors out. And then there's a dry charger in there as well. So I think this is a cop car. It's got those black wheels, those black cop wheels. What do you guys think? You think this is a cop car? Undercover? It's rolling around. There's so much traffic today. This is a Saturday morning. What's going on there? So good news is I on the car meet front is I heard that Cars and Coffee is starting back up down here in Miami. So hopefully I'll see some of you guys there. You're down here in South Florida. That's a nice Mustang GT over there. What is the car that you guys think most often you get stuck behind and it's going slow? Usually on the left lane on a highway. I know we're kind of cheating because we're behind one right now, but I think it's the Corolla. And you know, nothing against you Corolla drivers out there, but I don't know. I just feel like most people that buy a Corolla, the majority of them just drive very slow. And specifically on the left lane. This guy's actually not too bad. I'm probably just going too fast. I'm just saying, if you're on the left lane and you're not going faster than someone that's on the right lane, then just get over to the right lane. It's a pretty easy concept. The worst I will say is the people that merge, they'll come right on the highway, merging on the highway, 
and just straight just like their goal in life is to get to the left lane right so they just come straight all the way to the left lane and then when they need to exit they're all the way on the left so they just go straight across all the way to the right lane it's like a like a game of pong right i guess So why does a supercharger whine like this? I mean, I had to look it up myself. Uh, so apparently it has something to do with uh, air leaving the discharge port under pressure. If any of you guys knows a better explanation, go ahead and put it in the comments. All I know is it is the best sound ever. I like turbo sounds too, don't get me wrong. I like that whoosh, right? That spool up of the turbo, love that. I love that on my STI. Hopefully that dude comes out to Cars and Coffee and I get to see my old STI again. I kind of regret selling it, but whatever. It is what it is. But yeah, there's, to me, supercharger noise, hands down, I love it. So check out this next video. You already seen that one. Check this one out and I'll see you guys there. Thanks. Bye.